Another sort of marketing uh, thing, just kind of hanging around Japan. So we went to Naseko, the ski village, uh, you know, to our flight to go snowboarding. And it's a small ski village. Have you, have you been there before? Have you been to that area before? Yeah, very popular ski village, right? And in the main village, right, there's a bunch of restaurants and it was quite time, right? But there's some that do really well and some that don't. But there was one that called The Fridge, I think it's called. It's called something like that, right? But it's basically a jazz bar, right? It's a restaurant, it's very, very small, but it's, it's pretty cool. Like, don't get me wrong, it's a very cool looking bar, but not necessarily anything more special than anything else. But it was the only one that had like over a thousand reviews and had like a waiting line like outside. Like it, it would it'd take a while to get into it. And the only thing special about it, which I thought was just an interesting sort of insight was that the door, it's it's like a hidden bar, like the door is a fridge essentially, or oh, it's a vending machine, not a fridge, sorry. So like to get into it, you have to like kind of find it. Now everyone obviously knows where it is because it's somewhat famous. But I was like, that's an interesting example of like repackaging, you know, an offer where it's like, 